Hello, hello, it's Miss Jessie over at the Townsend Public Library, and thank you so much for joining me today for Story Time and Craft. Today we have such a fun story to read, and it's one that you may have seen or read before because it is a classic. It's called Owl Babies, and it's written by Martin Waddle, and it's illustrated by Patrick Benson, and it's about three baby owls who are missing their mummy. Are we ready? Here we go. Owl babies. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah, Percy, and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. it was their house. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. <gasps> Where's mummy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. The, owl, the baby owls thought all owls think a lot. I I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah, to get us our food, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. But their owl mother didn't come. The owl babies came out of their house and they sat on the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. It was dark in the woods, and they had to be brave, for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. Do you see them up in their tree? That's where they live. And how come the owls are outside at night time? Shouldn't they be sleeping? They aren't. You're right. Owls sleep during the daytime. They are nocturnal which means that they're awake and most active at night. They sat and they thought, all owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did, all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come back. It's taking her a long time to come back. <gasps> but she came. Here she comes. Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah, Percy, and Bill. Mommy, they cried. They flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. They're so excited. What's all the fuss, their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back. The owl babies thought, all owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah, and I knew it, said Percy. I love my mummy, said Bill. The end. So you may have had a time where somebody that you love or your mummy left or brought you someplace and had to go 
by, by for a little bit. And guess what? Even if you're feeling worried, they always come back. The owl mother was just going out looking for some food for her babies. And of course she was coming back. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get ready for our very special craft. In your craft kit that you picked up from the library, you should have a black piece of paper. And this is going to be our background because remember, it was nighttime in our story. You have a brown squiggly piece of paper. We're going to use this to turn into our branch that the owl babies were sitting on. You should have a tub of white paint, a piece of tin foil, and then a little container full of googly eyes, a sponge, because oh, that's what we're going to use as our paintbrush today, and beaks for each of the owls. All right, so let's see. First, what we'll do is we're going to put our black dark sky on the table. So we'll get that ready. And then let's take our brown little squiggly rectangle piece. And this piece we're going to turn into our branch. So we'll grab some glue and we're going to put some on one side. Like this. And then we'll flip over of our branch. And then if you have either a brown or a black crayon or marker, we can then draw some lines on the piece of paper to kind of give it the look of a branch. Kind of adding some lines like some bark. And then maybe there's some holes in there. Maybe a woodpecker had come along or another type of animal that was trying to get some bugs out. So sometimes there's also some holes on the branch. So there we go. So that's gonna be the branch that Sarah, Percy, and Bill sit on. So then next, what we're gonna do is that we can take our piece of tin foil, and I gave you some tin foil to hopefully keep our area a little bit cleaner. So we're gonna put this tin foil down and then you can take your tub of white paint and you can pour some of your paint right on the tin foil. Okay? And then what we'll do is we'll stamp and press our sponge right on there to get paint on. Okay? So I'll take my sponge and you can either do the bumpy rough part or the soft part. It's up to you. And we're going to dab. The sponge right onto the tin foil with the paint on it, and then you'll see how then paint gets right on the sponge. So we're first. Let's do Sarah, our first owl baby, and then we're just going to make kind of an oval, sh an oval shape. And by stamping and pressing the sponge to get the paint on, it almost gives the look of fluffy feathers that the owls have. So I kind of just made an oval shape and that will be Sarah's body. And then when you're done that one, stamp again, get a little bit more paint. And then we can make another shape next to it. Remember when Sarah said, I have an idea. Let's all come sit on my branch together. So then there can be Percy. And then what was that owl's name that kept saying, I want my mummy? Does anyone remember? It was the littlest owl and his name was Bill. <laughs> so next, 
we're going to put Bill over here. Maybe I can even see if I can make him a little bit littler. Since he was the littlest. I'm going to add a little bit more to Percy. So now I have three owl bodies. And you can go back and add a little bit more paint if you want. There they go. And now we can get out our little tub that has our eyes in them. Because right now they just kind of look like fuzzy little blobs. But they'll start to look more like owls once we give them their faces. So I'm going to get my eyes ready. And there's so many in your cup because we have three owls and each owl has two eyes. So two plus two plus two is some pretty tricky math. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six eyes for our project today. So we can start with Sarah's and you can either just stick it right on to your white paint and it should hold or remember they are stickers so you can pull the back to apply them or if you still have your glue nearby from your branch you can put a little bit of glue. Gonna give Percy his eyes. One, two. And look, they're great big giant eyes because owls have really good eyes so that they can see in the dark and they're very large for them to look all around them. And then lastly, from our supplies, we have three orange triangles and these are their beaks. And there are our owls. And then one other thing that you can add if you'd like were that the owls, let me see, I'll get a picture from the cover, have giant claws at their bottom of their feet to grip on to their trees or branches. So if you have your marker or your crayon still near you from when you made your branch, you can always make some feet for them holding on to the branch so they don't fall. And I'm just making three lines. And there you have it. Your own owl baby picture. And it looks pretty similar. To the book. Well, thank you all so much for joining me for today's story time and craft. I hope you had a lot of fun doing it with me and I hope to see you all again real soon. Have a super day. Bye!